Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here in Halls of Torment now. I've got a really, really cool build for you today. So shout out goes to one of our channel viewers, Sebastian, who has suggested this particular loadout and ended up being a really, really powerful build. So we're going to go on the exterminator today and we're going to stack our help? HP as high as we can. So I put all my shards into max HP. Please, now, care. why are we going to do this? There is a particular item we're going to take advantage of called Thorn Fists Vacuum. When receiving damage, it's all enemies in your pickup range. Deals damage that scales with max HP. Draws enemies closer to you. So we're going to stack as much HP as we can. So to that end, we're also going to put Scars of Toil plus 250 base health minus 100% regeneration. Per one missing HP, we get also an additional 0.1 damage, which is pretty nice. It stacks up quite a bit on this particular build, so it, so it is really nice. The extra base health is the main focus of this one, though. Uh, the extra damage is nice, too, obviously. But Now, because we get minus 100 regeneration with this thing, we are going to take some healing items in with us. And we are going to do this on a higher torment level, too. So some healing items are necessary. If you do want to run a build like this on a lower torment level, you can sub out some of, the, some of these rings for something else. But I'm actually going to put two holy relics on here. Every 30 seconds when damage casts holy light, so we're going to heal and regenerate a bit. They both do that. The bottom part is every 30 seconds drops a power up over here. And every 30 seconds when at full health, drops a power up and on health pick up 0.5 base damage. We're also going to use this thing, the Fighter's Headband Regeneration. When a champion, elite, or boss appears, for 50 seconds regenerate 0 0.5 per second. And for champions, it is 20 seconds. If at full health, spawns a power up. So, as you can see, we've got a lot of power up stuff uh, happening here. If we can manage to be at full health, we'll get even more. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting not to be at full health a lot of the time in this build because we are going to put it up against uh, Torment 25 here. Now, we're just going for some defensive items here. We put the Plate of Boots and the Defiant Plate on for this one. Nothing too crazy there. Now, we are going for Mark of the Sword. There's a very specific reason for this. The uh, Swordsman's Dedication at level 60 will give us an additional 250 base HP. So these uh, these two together can net us an additional 500. That is to our base HP, though. That will get then all of the 800 plus percent from, uh, from our scripter over here. Let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to, going to go in at 25. We can, in fact, let's do some chamber for some fun in this one. So I'll show you what we're doing here. We're just having a really interesting combination of stuff going on here. The ones we're not going to take are the two slowing ones, which are really annoying. I just really don't like them. We are, however, going to put confusing lens on in here. Uh, the other ones we're not going to use are reduce all healing by 50%. Reduce modifiers by 20% and our health on level up. These three are just annoying. They just make they just make healing way harder. So we're just going to leave them off. Uh, we are going to put Face of Regret on for this one because, interesting fact, this does not affect the Thorn Fist Vacuum's damage. We are going to go in at uh, Torment 25 though, so this is going to be a difficult one. But I'll show you this build is kind of pretty powerful. So let's get into it here. Okay, okay, we got, uh, oh yeah, we have the randomized uh, stuff on our scrolls as well. I forgot to mention that, so that's a thing too. Okay, so we don't want to take range. We want to take pickup range very much, and we'll take metabolism. We do want to take defense. We don't care for block. Pick up range down there again, and we want that on the next level up. Ah, man, <laughs> we're way faster than we'll just come back. <laughs> Okay, out of the dedication here, we want the two health ones. Regeneration and defense and stuff is really nice. It's not what we want. Okay, we've got base health. We're actually going to take and duplicate base health. This is one of the only builds I've ever duplicated base health on, though, which is really interesting. We're going to potion this. I want to just take a chance for now. Okay, as I said, the two health ones are what we want out of here. Okay, main weapon stuff. I guess we can just sort of take anything here. Our uh, main weapon is not going to be our main DPS in this run, so it doesn't really matter too much. I uh, will get rid of... What's down here? I want to increase our pickup range a little bit before we go defense. Okay, we're going to take this and dupe another one. We're going to save one more duplication tincture for the level 60 thing, though. The um, 
dedication, swordsman dedication. I don't mind taking Hellfire out of here. We're not really using melee stuff specifically. If we happen to get a random ability that is melee, you know, we'll deal with it. Let's go damage. Okay, attack speed is nice. Let's just keep going. Let's try and keep this one nice and fast since we have such a strong build here. Uh, we've got health. Uh, I don't care for this. Movement speed negative. Meep. Get out of here. Where's our health? This one. We're just taking as much health as humanly possible here, basically. You know what? Let's take the pickup range. Long fingers is nice. I don't mind leaving one locked in at the top. As long as we're getting other useful stuff, then it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, if you really want to take it straight away, you can take it straight away. But as you can see, we're kind of sitting <laughs> pretty right here. So, you know. Okay. Uh, let's take the health. Okay, here are our, uh, some of our power-ups, which uh, we haven't uh, gotten to just yet. Let's take the burning stuff. Since we are on the exterminator, we will... You know, we'll take some burning stuff here. Okay, we've only got one left, so we're not going to dupe any more of these ones. We're going to hold off, but we will, obviously, keep taking it. Okay, again, with the weapon stuff, we can really just sort of take any of it. Okay, regen defense, that's the wrong one. Okay, proficient stance, we want just the burning stuff, we said. Uh, let's re-roll. Oh man, it's not really giving me what I want here. Alright, that's fine, we'll take Hellfire. Bulwark. Rich. Okay, we got a health one. Attack speed's not bad. Okay, we because we have the invincible one, we can't uh, actually uh, use our thorn fist in this, in this moment, which is kind of hilarious. Okay, there we go. Okay, that, that's not the one. Health. Okay, pickup range is great. We are leveling pretty quickly here. Burn. Multi strike. Okay, we've got another tome to drop there. We can just uh, sort of take it. We still have that one locked in at the top. We'll just we'll just take it. That's hilarious. Or is that the new one? Oh, that might have been the new one. Ah, that's alright. I can't remember. quite remember. We've, been, we've just been going through these levels so fast here in the beginning of the run. It's kind of crazy. Okay, let's go. More defense. Oh, we're over 9,000. We got a health over 9,000. Let's go. Alright, let's take more. And now it's a little... You know, it's not necessarily the smartest play just to stand in the middle of them the whole time, but you know what? We, we have enough healing here that even without the wraps, we can sort of just get away with it, which is excellent. I also wanted to shout out everyone who tuned into the live stream today. We went for about five hours and we had a really, really good stream. So I appreciate everyone who tuned in and enjoyed the, uh, you know, Hanging out and all that. We did some cool builds. We actually did this build, which I discovered just how powerful it was. Um, obviously, we have a lot of shards at this point, so, you know, your mileage with this uh, build may vary depending on your shard count. Take a proficient stance, too. Why not? Jeez, we're barely over two minutes in. And we're level 43. Is, is this real? <laughs> Let's continue here. Okay, we've got more health. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> uh, this is kind of hilarious, this build. I don't know, and we're, we're not even close to getting it into its final form yet. We still have that swordsman dedication to take. Okay, we've got needles. I don't mind needles. I'm not sure where our power-ups are landing, but I think we're picking them up because we're just staying pretty pretty high health here the whole time. So we must be picking them up at a pretty consistent rate. There's one. I mean, <laughs> this build is so much fun too. 
You know what? We can start leveling the abilities. It doesn't hurt. Oh, since we've randomized them, we're just we're just kind of winging it here too. This is this has to be one of the most powerful builds for everything up until like torment twenty seven or something maybe. There are a couple of modifiers in there, the healing ones specifically, that make this kind of hard at Torment 30. We did try it at Torment 30, and it's it has potential to be a Torment 30 build, but... Unfortunately, Torment 30 right now really requires insane regeneration and or defense to make it all the way through. We got about 10 minutes in, which is pretty good. Um... It just didn't have enough regeneration on the setup. You know what, let's take it to three. Perchance, you know what, let's get these up to six because they are one of the most powerful abilities. Long fingers, could have taken that as well, but... As you can see, even though I'm playing pretty carelessly, we've barely gone under 8,000 HP here the whole time, which is kind of insane to think about. We're, we're in fact, we're not getting that much value out of our uh, necklace in terms of the damage, but we are getting the base health out of it. So, you, you know, doing good work for us right here. Uh, let's see. Attack speed. Okay. Ooh, we almost made it under 8,000. <laughs> what are we at? Agony 2. We're not even up to the higher uh, agony uh, agony levels just yet. Okay, we did get 6 abilities, which kind of clogs up the loot pool here a little bit, which is annoying too, but... Uh, what do we want to do? I don't really want to level these ones that much right now. Let's take Fragile. Take another heal over there. There's one there. And another one there. <laughs> ah, it's too much fun, hey? Oh. Alright, let's get going. Oh, okay, we go on. Exterminator stance, burn chance. Um, this stuff is interesting. I mean, how many po- We only got four left. We'll just take burn chance. Just take some burn chance here. Uh, these two are alright too. I don't know if we really want to use all our potions just for... The stance one. Let's just go burn chance. We'll go... We want the dedication is the... Uh, the level 61 we want the most. We'll see if we can get it next level here. Oh, we did go under 8,000, but I'm just running straight through them. Hey, here it is, Swordsman and Dedication. Now, this other junk is not really great for our build, so we're just not, not going to even bother. <laughs> All right, we got over 15,000 health. Let's go. <laughs> Less than five minutes into the into the run at Torment 25. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, man. It's too much fun. Let's keep going on the damage. HP stacking for insane results. Let's go. Yeah, so uh, once again, big shout out goes to Sebastian, one of our channel viewers for suggesting this particular loadout. Now, I had been thinking about trying some HP stacking um, builds, but I hadn't figured out a setup or anything for it yet. So this is, you know, credit goes to Sebastian for this one. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this ended up being Probably the most powerful build I've done for anything below, I'd say maybe even up to Torment like 28. Maybe 27, 28, somewhere around there. Um, in, you could, probably can find a setup for Torment 30 for it to work. It is just it's a little harder at Torment 30 because of the movement speed and the healing nerfs, which is kind of rough. Man, we're just <laughs> pretty much at full health now too. Can just stand in the middle of them and uh, farm. Can we just AFK farm now? We might be able to. 
it's more beneficial for me to run around so we actually hit things. <laughs> oh man, these builds are just so much fun. I don't know. I think the further you get into the end game here in Halls of Torment, things really do start opening up. I think the early game... I, I must admit, there was a point in the early game where I felt like... Is there anything other than critical hit chance and damage for for making builds? But obviously there are. <laughs> there are tons of different builds you can make. I just, I think early game, I don't know what they do because there are lots of loot items accessible, but I think you need to get some of these interesting builds into the player's hands before 150 hours, you know what I mean? I don't know. But maybe, maybe that's not right. Maybe it should be there to reward those who grind more. I don't know. I just was going through the Discord earlier and some people were complaining about there not being enough builds. And I do agree at high Torment levels, the build variety is a bit lacking. But at Torment 30 specifically, I should say, <clears throat> we don't care about this junk. Get out of here. So I should be clear, specifically Torment 30, obviously, Torment up to Torment 25, there are so many other builds that can sort of make things work between Torment 0 and Torment 25, but let's keep going here, let's just go on damage. Yeah, we're level 70, 7 minutes in on Torment 25, that's kind of crazy. And we do, we do have the XP nerf uh, artifact, 50% in fact, from, uh, from our quests anyway. Uh, okay, we got what melee damage on projectiles. Do we care about our projectile damage that much? Let's just take equilibrium, whatever. Why not? Okay, so you can see our headband has healed us for 20,000 HP during the run. This is why we like to use. Oh, wow, look at all the pickups we just got. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, yeah, about that. <laughs> um, but because we're, <laughs> we're at max HP this whole time, this is not giving us the additional uh, damage output, which, as you can see, is 100% unnecessary. Anyway, it's just kind of crazy that this sort of build uh, is even possible, but I'm so happy that it is because it's so much fun. We're also doing it on uh, Chamber of Dissonance here, which is the fifth level, so it's, you know, probably one of the hardest two levels. Um, Tax to be magic for physical. Uh, we have more physical, but we do have some magic. Okay, equilibrium. Because that stuff's not the focus of the build, I'm just not going to bother. As you can see, though, at Torment 25, this is pretty much as strong as using a wrapping type of build. I mean, in terms of the healing right now, anyway. Maybe, um... Maybe not overall, because the wrappings are kind of crazy. Um, I'd like to see some other stuff buffed, as opposed to any more nerfs, so... I don't want to... I don't, I don't want interesting things in this game to be nerfed. I don't know. Especially at this point when we're this deep into the end game, if you start nerfing the fun and viable stuff, it's like, nah, that's the wrong approach. Let's go attack speed. Oof. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> can now I can do some casual AFK. Oh man. I can show you too the amount of damage it actually is uh, is doing right now. 15, 1, 3, 7. And uh, it goes off every time we get hit. And it affects every enemy within our pickup range. Yeah, speaking of pickup range, let's increase it by another 20%. We don't even need to pick these pickup ups, which is kind of great. Now, at Torment 30, I didn't actually try it with the two healing rings on. We only tried it with one healing ring and the other movement speed ring. Um, the only problem at Torment 30, without <laughs> any kind of uh, movement speed buffs, you are so slow. So, so. Hey, we can have even more. 15, 5. I mean, it's a bit of an increase still. We'll take it. 
that one uh, gave us like what 300 or something or three to four hundred out of a 40 <laughs> 40 base power upgrade so that's pretty good okay defense yes we could go for a, a, a walk here we could uh just chill we don't need any more scrolls right now. We're still leveling. What are we, 78? Our leveling has slowed down a little bit, I guess. Uh, but we have also reached Agony 5, so the enemies will be much, much tankier and stuff here now anyway. Let's have a look. It looks like they're blocking. Are they actually blocking? What are the... Which part is getting blocked, though? <laughs> it's hard to say. They're, they're blocking something. Are they blocking the blast damage now? No. We're invincible. I was going to say <laughs> what's going on there for a second. Ah, that's better. We can also have a look. And here the Thorn Fist is going to be the one <laughs> stacking up the damage there. Ah, good times, good times. I also got a few more builds planned. Uh, one is going to be an elemental type build, but not focus on one element. Well, another commenter has suggested something like that, and I think it could be really fun. I don't know if it'll be a high torment build or not, because I haven't tested it yet, but... It sounds really fun, and I think it has potential to be at least moderately strong. I don't think it'll be as strong as some of these other crazy builds, but <clears throat> I think it'll be a really, really fun one to do. And hey, I could be wrong. I didn't think this build was going to be this crazy powerful, but it ended up being kind of insane. So. Man, I guess we can use one of these. Here. What do we get for our second one? We've got Cyclone and Crippling Blades. That's very good. Attack speed. Waste damage. Just do a bit of everything. Make the strong one stronger. Why not? Ah. <laughs> That's the only thing when we have the invincible uh, invincibility. Uh, pick up. Obviously, our thorn fists can't do damage, which is hilarious. But you know, we don't need an invinci <laughs> invincibility pick up. Where we got another one, huh? Or is that the same one? That must be the same one. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Some of these builds we've been doing in the past week or so have just been super, super fun. I don't know. I've really been enjoying it. If you made it this far into the video as well, smash like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for tuning into another one here. Uh, as I said earlier, we did uh, like a five hour live stream today, which went really, really well. It was really fun. Um, always enjoyable doing the streams, uh, especially with this game. Some other games are not necessarily as enjoyable to stream, but I do find uh, these type of rogue slash survivor type games can be really really fun to watch so and we should be able to kill these big head guys at some point during the run here i don't quite know and we're also just uh getting a lot of these unholy strengths which is uh you know angelic boon is the movement speed one okay what do we want to take here we'll just go down okay we've got another upgrade let's grab something uh, it was Phantom Fetters. Okay. Alright, we've got seven minutes left here. <laughs> we got another one. Oh. 
Uh, also, one of my, uh, you know, IRL friends tuned into the stream today, and he, he's never played or, or really knows much about Halls of Torment at all, and he was just shaking his head. He, like, you know, he was chatting with me afterwards, and he was just shaking his head. <laughs> like, why can you stack up 800% HP? I'm like, oh, no, it's, I don't know. That's how they've designed the endgame here. Keep grinding, and you can keep boosting your stats. <laughs> ah. Uh, we also, I don't think we're going to do a stream tomorrow morning. Um, maybe a bit, uh, a bit, uh, sort of later in the day I have, uh, time to do one. Um, we shall see. But keep your eye out for the, I've, uh, started scheduling the streams before I go live, like an hour or two before I go live, so, um, keep your eye out for that if you are interested in catching the live streams. Uh, I just do them on YouTube and Twitch together. Uh, we don't really have a big Twitch audience. Our YouTube audience is where we get most of the views, but we do have a few people coming in to check it out on Twitch every now and then. I don't know if you guys are much of a, you know, Twitch viewers. I've always been more of a YouTube viewer than a Twitch viewer personally. Not for any particular reason, just it just sort of happened naturally, I guess. <laughs> We are not really leveling much anymore. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. <laughs> we are, but it's not going super, super fast. <laughs> Alright, it's getting a little laggy. Maybe we take the uh, numbers back down. Now I've been looking at a CPU upgrade here. Looking at the Ryzen... Uh... Seven. Oh god, I can't remember the number. The number off the top of my head, but <clears throat> I'm probably going to have to upgrade my motherboard and RAM and stuff at the same time, though. So it's going to end up being a bit of an expensive endeavor. So it might not happen for a few weeks, but I am pretty keen to get it upgraded. Uh, what does it really matter? We got the t we got these two. I don't know. We'll just take that one. Like, what does leveling the rest of them matter? Is what I was thinking. It's just like. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, we have so many immunity <laughs> things dropping like this. It's hilarious. Man, maybe with the two rings equipped, if you're getting a pickup every 15 seconds, the Torment 30, would that be enough? I don't know. That's going to have to be something we test, uh, test offline or in the next stream, maybe. I do think this build has a lot of potential at Torment 30. I just haven't quite figured out how to make it work because because of the healing nerfs from the artifact. Um, but like I said before, we also had to put move speed ring on and stuff because Torment 30 is so slow as well. I think Torment 25 is like perfect place for this build to show just how crazy powerful it is. <laughs> We're not killing them very quickly now, though. Oh. Alright. They scale up their defense really, really high uh, on uh, Agony 5 here at uh, Torment 25. Things get kind of crazy, but we're still leveling. We're still uh, above level 90 here now, so we're just about to hit 91. There we go. There's nothing really else we need from here, anyway. We took, we took all the HP stuff. We're just going to take Spark Chance of Burn Chance and just some of the fun stuff here. Good, good stuff. Okay, Slow Chance is kind of interesting. Okay. Quick bonus. Letting them surround me for a second while I'll take a sip of one of it. Oh. Okay, Bulwark it is. Maybe at Torment 25. <laughs> These big heads have still too much health? I'm not sure. Um, we've killed we haven't killed them at Torment 30. I've definitely killed them at Torment 22. I think. I'm trying to think how many other Torment 25 runs we've done. I've only done a couple of Torment 25 runs, I think. 
I just skipped straight to 30 from 22, you know, as you do. I'm just keep going on the ones we've already upgraded here, I think. Okay, we've got two and a half minutes left. Let's see how quickly or how long uh, it takes to do this boss fight. I don't suspect we'll be able to just flat out AFK them, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, we've always got the invincible thing on too. That's uh, part of the reason we're picking up so many of those. That's part of the reason that we're not leveling very fast. Uh, how interesting. Crit bonus and damage? Yeah. Why not? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just having way too much fun in the end game of Halls of Torment here right now. Uh, super, super glad that I got into this game. Uh, I would have checked it out anyway if I hadn't checked out the early access. I still would have probably tried the 1.0, but... I don't know if I would have got it into it quite as much, but, you know. I think part of the reason, too, is that we had a good reception on the channel. That obviously helps, you know, keeps me motivated to uh, make videos and all that sort of stuff, so... It's a win-win situation here. No, we're leveling just fine. It must have been because we had so many of those. Let's take the base damage. And... Must have been because we had so many of those invincibility power-ups. That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, we've got a minute left here now. Guys, if you have any other ideas for builds, I'm still down for ideas. I have a list of, you know, several different ones we want to do. So, if you do drop a suggestion, um, might not be a couple of days until we get to it, but um, if you do drop one down there, I will absolutely read it. And if we can do it, we'll try and do it. So, uh, let's use our last potion. Spark chance? Alright, we'll do you. Okay, I think this is easily the most powerful non-rap build for high torment levels here. Um, obviously with the ramps you can get some crazy damage builds going and really really take advantage of them but man yeah without without having to use the wrapping specifically this is easily the strongest build <laughs> I've come across. Uh, mm, 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 mm. We don't have any uh, rolling stuff left here either. Oh, well. there's <laughs> so many enemies though. Oh, good times, good times. We can leave our pickups on the ground, but I've just sort of been running in a, <laughs> in a circle, killing them, you know what I mean? Oh. Alright, we're almost here. 20, 20 seconds, let's go. See how long this boss fight takes. We might just try and kill the first one and be done. I don't know. We'll see how tanky they are. See if I can, if I can AFK. I probably can't. Um, yeah, what we can check is... um, Yeah, our regen isn't that crazy. It's all the heal. Is it all the... It must be all the heals coming from the rings and the headband. <laughs> Which is awesome, just stacking on top of each other. Okay, can we? Oh my god, can we just AFK this? Are they even hit? Where have we, do we have a thing? Okay, now. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Hello. <laughs> okay, this is Torment 25, so the second and third bosses. As you can see, they have a lot of health, but... We can just uh, pretty much AFK this. If we really feel like we need to, we can just go and grab the healing star. And come back. This one could take a while though, so... All I'm going to be doing here is basically running in a circle for the next probably five minutes or so. So if anything interesting happens, I'll catch you towards the end. Okay, so the first boss, he took about five minutes to take his HP down, and then he uh, regenerated back to full. 
Uh, uh, I'm just gonna end it now here, guys. Otherwise, it's gonna take me like 25 minutes to half an hour, even longer. Um, which I'm not, I'm not really interested in sitting here for another hour. <laughs> Alright, we did over to 2.1 bill. Nice. Not necessarily the uh, strictly the highest dam damage output, but man, these saw and fist 1.5 all by himself. Obviously, we could have built differently. We could have uh, gone not for the random stuff and all that. Yeah. And still hear them going up in the background. That's hilarious. I don't care if sitting there just for the extra shards. Um, we got plenty enough, so. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning into another video. Smash like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks to Sebastian for this build suggestion. If you have a suggestion, drop it in the comments down below. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one. Hope you have a fantastic, amazing day. Take it easy.